In this video, we're in Excel, and I want to look at a problem that you might get if you try to copy multiple ranges. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna select my first range, then I'm gonna hold down Control on my keyboard and select a second range. Now, when I go to copy, I get this message. This action won't work on multiple selections. Now this doesn't happen all of the time in Excel. For example, I'm going to select this range, hold down control and select cells in the same rows. Then when I copy, I don't get that message. You can see it successfully placed those two ranges on the clipboard. The same thing would happen if I selected cells in the same columns. So I'm holding down control and I select cells in the same columns as my original selection, go to copy. And you can see that it successfully places both ranges on the clipboard. The problem occurs where your second selection isn't in the same column or row as your first selection. It can even occur when your second selection doesn't use the same number of rows or columns as your first selection. Okay, so you can now hopefully understand why you're getting that message. Now, one thing you might find useful is the clipboard. If I open up the clipboard here, if I make a selection, and copy it, it places the item on the clipboard. Then if I make a second selection, copy that, it also places it on the clipboard. Now, if I wanted to copy it to another sheet, say, I'm gonna select cell A1. I can paste everything on the clipboard at once, or I can paste the items individually. Okay, I'm gonna clear this sheet and close down the clipboard. And I want to show you another problem you might get if you're copying multiple ranges. Now in column H, you'll see that I've got a formula that adds up the rows within this table. Now I want to copy all of the rows except Betty's sales data. So I've selected everything except Betty's row and I copy. I'm going to go to the copy to sheet and I'm going to paste in my data. I'm just going to use control V to paste it in. Now it looks fine, but if I go into column H, you can see that actually by default, it's copied in values rather than formula. Now, how do I get around that? Well, I'll undo my paste, control Z. I'll select that cell where I want to paste into. And then instead of using control V, I'm gonna go up to this paste button and go to paste special, and then just click on okay. And when I use that method, it does paste in the formula. Okay, that's all I want to cover in this particular video. If it's been helpful, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next video.